Hello everybody, my name is Shredtex and welcome back to Regiments. Everybody, we have one final map to conquer in the starting operation for the game. Hopefully we'll be able to survive, who really knows. I'm actually going to use my absolute insane amount of operational authority right now. <laughs> I We have done too well for ourselves, we absolutely are swimming in it. We can probably re requisition like a golden tank if we wanted to, but it probably would be very good at fighting, but whatever. So I'm going to call in a, sec a third task force. We're going to go for the HQ group because it comes with a HQ and napalm. I really want to use some napalm. So we're going to try that out. We'll upgrade them right away as well. So we also unlock some additional heavy tanks, which would be pretty handy. And what now? What now? I feel like we're going to go for additional deployment points. We're going to get more tactical support so we can use them more often. And I think that's it. We haven't really got anything else we can use here. So we're going to use these forces and hopefully win the final stage of this starting operation oh and even better than before <laughs> i get to pick this car which gives me just flat out more artillery which is pretty handy okay it's a battle so i'm not sure if this is going to be the same as the last map where we have allies helping us fight or are they going to be defending i have no idea we have to find out in a second okay let's see interesting so this is more like what I'd expect from a classic map from an RTS where you both come in from either side and you have to try and fight for the middle. Though unlike last time, they actually own all these locations anyway. Interesting. So really, we only need to capture these territories here and we win. But they're all so close to each other. Like if you're here, you can fight all these locations around you. So it's quite interesting. How are we going to do this? It looks like, to me at least, the AI might deploy from this part of the map because they've got three units there. We're going to deploy this way. Uh, let's get our units in, shall we? How do we want to do this? This may be a bit crazy, but we're going to try our best. We're going to call quite a lot of infantry in. We're going to call quite a few tanks as well at the start of the match. We're going to have a lot of units. <laughs> I've increased my um, my possible um, infantry on the field to a lot at this point, so we can call them loads of units. Let's give him some prudent uh, orders at the start. Deploy and move to the forest. Recon, 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 recon. I guess just go here so you can kind of see if there's any enemies nearby. Maybe a little bit further back. Go here. Actually, there's no reason why I can't just deploy them in the forest. They're a little bit more protected. Let's get that sorted out. We also have a assault the battle. Artillery, we deploy right away. Actually, do I have two lots of artillery now? No, I don't. I've messed up. Deploy some short range artillery. We're going to wait because we may need the helicopters. So we've got artillery barrage, which is worse than my current one. HE frag shells. We've got heavy artillery and we've got napalm and two lots of smoke. Pretty cool. This is the scary bit of the side of the battle. Are we going to be absolutely ruined in the first few seconds or is it going to be totally fine? Oh! I've got an additional card. Reduce HQ command radius and SAMs. Interesting. <laughs> Enemy spotted. Stop. Okay, so we know where they are. There's probably infantry here. Can we fit this in? Yes, we can. We'll do two barrages right away. Two mechanized SAMs. Good thing I didn't pick the uh, helicopters, everybody. <laughs> that could have kind of sucked. In this case, then, because we've got so many units, I'm also going to call in the heavy artillery and they can help us out here. Keep an eye on the map, though. So our allies are attacking from that direction. I haven't seen any heavy artillery yet, though. Interesting. Ooh, that's a bit dangerous. That's a little bit dangerous. Pull back a little bit, guys. Ooh, yeah, just leave. Just leave. Just leave, guys. Just leave. You're being hit. Wait. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but we found the enemy, everybody, if you can't tell. Hmm. Artillery, do your own, do your thing. Tanks, return fire. That was a lot of shooting right there. So, so so so. Let's call in additional tanks. We need to focus, if we can, on this guy so we can call in the helicopter. There's also anti-tank here as well. That's also very dangerous. In fact, suppress the anti-tank. 31 seconds, we can call reinforcements again. 
They're actually doing a pretty good job. Can I tell them to both focus on this um, anti-air? If we can do that, I'm going to call in the helicopter. And we'll get rid of these anti-tank units. So how are these anti-tank, by the way? I'm kind of curious. I can't even see it. <laughs> it's just covered in a cloud of destruction. Where is the unit? Oh, it's a missile base anti-tank unit. I see. You definitely want to deal with that first, or we're going to have a bad time. Actually, what I'll do, I'll tell both my units to focus on that anti-tank, because I'm very scared of it, if you can't tell. What we'll do as well, we'll help our allies out by suppressing all these units with heavy artillery. It's not gone too bad, though. It's an okay start. We need to get rid of this, this unit, though. If you can get the artillery to attack it, they are good. I don't want to put the tanks into harm's way until we get rid of this anti-tank unit there. The artillery was great success over there. They've suppressed all those units. Oh, they are now engaging, but they have like... What's the debuff? 33% the debuff and accuracy. They missed. It's fine. <laughs> ah, they're still hitting us, though. Do you reckon we can shoot them from over here? Guys, change target and kill that anti-tank unit with tanks. It's fine. Oh, there's enemy artillery just here. Okay, enemy anti-tank is out of the picture. Perfect. We move up. Actually, no, we move back this unit here. We move up this unit a little bit. Um, what do we want to do here? Look at that. We're either going to win this really quickly or we're going to lose it really quickly because everyone's so condensed. Yeah, take too much damage. Pull back. Ooh. Nice! Is that cluster bombs? No, that is devastating. Oh my god. Don't mess with that. Uh, stay where you are, keep shooting. I'm surprised we haven't found a way of destroying this BMP. It seems quite stubborn. Wow! I didn't realise they actually range found my um, mobile artillery. Well, that sucked. We took a lot of damage there. We're moving to take the first point. Those poor artillery get killed all the time. I feel really bad for them. <laughs> Those poor people. Gonna take out those tanks in a second. Oh no, not you, not you, not you, not you. We're actually getting quite low, Zone if you haven't captured. noticed, on um, artillery. Uh, sorry, supplies, which is quite interesting. Is that going for my main guys? Yeah, they are. Okay. In fact, just pull back so you meet your retreat, and I don't lose any units. <laughs> I'm sorry to garrison squad, though. You're kind of screwed. Four units. Okay, we're going to call in a helicopter. I'm going to tell you guys to move forward just to get rid of these fortifications. I presume inventory has a bonus against this, but I'm not sure because it's inventory. Like, surely it's better than the vehicle that's ramming into it. Okay, it feels like a pretty good, good for us at the moment. Let's also bring in our recon to see more of the map. Okay, 
There's something else here. Oh, it's in the group. That's fine. Pull up a little bit. What's the range of these? Uh, 2.8. Stubborn units over here. Alright, so I'm pretty well. They lost a lot of units here. Did they get attacked by artillery or something? Hmm, interesting. Oh no, I think they were the original guys that are holding the hill. I'll take it back. Zone capture. Uh undeploy. Get there. That would be the same here. Luckily, we've got quite a nice area here. We can see quite far. It's kind of hard keeping hold, <laughs> track of all these units. To be honest, there's, there's stuff everywhere. I can hear that plane noise somewhere. There they are. Oh, I wish it went to the left. There was way more units to the left. Go around the flank, guys, and take over November. Are you guys in range yet? Nearly. Things I've we've got we're 12 minutes in. We made some good progress. We've got to take over the bulk of the city still, but we've done some good work here. Boy. We have to pull back both these tanks, though, because they're out of ammo at the moment. We'll wait until these guys are dead, though. It should be quite good now. We've got inventory right on there in them. Kill them! Ooh, that's a good location. Big artillery garage there. Yeah. Enemy down. Good job, everybody. Uh, you guys all pull back. Uh, the infantry as well. They're already quite hurt. You guys can already see quite far, so just stay where you are so you can scout everything for us. Infantry, redeploy and get ready to move up on your next attack. And I'm happy with that. Cool. So they can come in from both these directions. We've kind of already captured where they're going to come in from the right-hand side. Uh, oh, are they stuck on these fortifications? Oh, that's so annoying. This is probably why you need to get yourself some engineers, I would imagine. Uh, guys, 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 <laughs> stop going into all those units. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it. Okay, we get the tanks on the hill here. They can actually start shooting at the enemy across the town there. The recon's got us ourselves scouted out, and we're bringing both these inventory to start attacking the rail station. Uh, as for actual units, bringing the artillery as well, and I think helicopters over here would be great. I think the enemy is lacking a lot of units there. Um, do you reckon we also want... I'll get some artillery so we can just assist from wherever. Yeah, let's help assist over here. We can already do another artillery barrage over here, actually, if we want to. But let's go for the city instead. We'll do a double artillery barrage on that unit there. I think this is going to be a very another, another very quick phase, to be honest. It looks like we're doing good progress at the moment, at least. We'll bring you guys up and deploy when you get there. Uh, tanks are already covering this entire area. Can they actually see the enemy? No, they can't. Sorry, I, I got the range wrong. I thought they were in range. Uh, bring the tanks through here and send the flank. Oh, they even called in uh, another cluster bomb over there. Interesting. Okay, so that is the farm is now secured by our allies. The Mulhausen's now okay as well. Let's bring the helicopters over to our side. Help, 
Very nice. Doing a lot of damage there. I, I can see why you're panicking. <laughs> it's not a good day for you, friends. Oh, wait, it's someone else. Stop, stop, stop. Who's that? Oh, it's multiple. Heavy artillery. There's also repurposes as well. Over here, though. Uh, pull back. Ooh. With the units we have here, there should be quite... Uh, my AI is just like, attack! <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> They're crazy. Why have I got a smoke screen on myself here? I don't know. The enemy is completely suppressed, so apart from this unit here, it's looking pretty good for us. Uh, can you start suppressing that unit that not suppressed, please? And I think we got this under control. Two to four units are going to be involved in the counterattack. Okay, thank you for telling me. I repurpose. Get you guys a bit closer. Uh, what can we call in now? I guess we can call in more tanks to support, or the helicopters again would be a good call, I think. Are they still reloading? Oh, they're resupplying in 84 seconds, I think, so it's going to take a little bit of time. There's not enough supply left! Oh! Oh no! I've been using too many units at the same time. Zone capture. That's not good. That's not good at all. Luckily for me, I've got heavy artillery, though, so it's not a big deal. Are you guys position yourself in the middle of the field and just you guys move here. This is where inventory is going to be way more handy than tanks. But I think we killed the enemies here. There's still some here apparently. We'll see in a second, I guess. I really want to try an A-bomb. <laughs> Zone capture. Five There's not that many enemies there, though. I'm going to wait until that attack appears. Hey, what's, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh! Incoming ballistic missiles. A limit, uh, uh, estimated to hit this area. Where? Where's this area? Does you just mean in general? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Everybody move from where you are at the moment and just scatter. Everyone scatter. Every pa panic. I'm panicking. You, why are you not panicking? Panic. Are you panicking? Panic, man. Panic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Run away. <laughs> Run away. Where did they get these from? Oh, wait. Oh my god. That was terrifying. It's still happening. I thought it was over. It's not. <gasps> Zone lost. I can see that. What? <laughs> now there's gas? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> My name I'm quite failed. Um, oh, there's anti-air there. I can't One believe that. Minute remaining. One, wait, I thought I had more time than this. Wait, what? That's confusing. I thought I had way more time. Where did my time go, game? They removed the time. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, they're doing it as well. I'm sure tanks will be firing the gas leak. What could possibly go wrong? Have they got... they got artillery in November? Is that what's happening over there? How dare you. I was hoping to do this in one phase, but the game kind of turned it on its head at the end there, so we kind of lost a lot of uh, initiative. Let's see if we can identify these units. Okay, so the helicopters are just... can kill these guys, I think.
Get him a little bit back. I don't want to be literally in the face of the enemy because I just die. Ah, oh, it's over. I swear the time slowed down or something, everybody. I swear we have 18 minutes. They took time off my time, everybody. I knew, I knew it. I demand a refund of my two minutes. Where's overtime? Have you not watched football before? Damn it. Well, we've made good progress, everybody. We've made good progress. I'm back down to losing four units. That I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll take it. <laughs> that wasn't a big loss for us there. Uh, we killed a lot of enemies, though. There was a lot of death on their side. Uh, but I don't think it matters too much to the AI. I think they just kind of just go through there. Was that... We have another chance. We have two phases left to win this battle. Now, we are we were given a lot of additional units here, which is great. Supplies is just messed up. That's bad. I don't know what happened to supplies there. It's just fell apart. Uh, so what can we do at this point? We've got 192 units, uh, 192 resources. We can get a the same tanks we use at the moment. I think we're investing that. We can also get artillery. We can get additional artillery strike. We'll take that as well. And we can also get a better... I actually had to Google... Not Google. I had to literally screenshot the difference between the T-55A and T-55AM. The AM has enhanced armor. That's the difference there. Uh, so we're not going to avoid those ones. We're going to go for... Do we have enough money for this? We don't. Okay, we're going to go for additional supplies. And additional tactical. This, I don't think, really helps me gain more supplies. I think it just helps me have more supplies because we ran out of supplies at the end there. It was a disaster. So we're going to try this. Um, I've already been given... I've already got maximum... Oh, I'm, I'm actually good at this game, apparently. <laughs> I don't feel like I am. Actually, I feel like I'm, I'm terrible, but who knows. Phase last five minutes less. No, thank you. Uh, I will take this one. Yeah, I don't want to take... Uh, I guess we can do that and just deploy everything. Do you know what? Screw it. We're going in. We're taking all the units. To take less time, we'll take more victory. That's what we're going to do. Because I'm kind of worried about me only having 200 supply, which is not good. Uh, oh, can I just... <gasps> so there's stuff everywhere. We kind of lost this at the last second. We were sending in the helicopters to attack, though. Okay. So let's have a look. So we've got to take over three more points. Un, deux, trois, and then we win. One of the points has already been knocked out anyway. It's just neutral because there's gas everywhere because somebody farted. We've also got the actual city, which I think we're about to take over anyway. In fact, with deployment zones. That's so handy. That is amazing. Can you guys both move? Oh, I can't do it. Never mind. <laughs> So we're going to need a quite a few units here. Um, we're going to go for a tank assault on November. So if we get two tank units here. Mm, I said. If we two tank units here. Thank you. So they're going to push through the helicopter in the take over November. We've got artillery just hanging out over here. Oh, we can redeploy them. Ooh. 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 I love it. So they can go for November with the helicopter. Uh, the tank can support, as well as the artillery. The infantry is going to do the most of the lift in here. What well, we got 165 points left. Let's go for the artillery. We deploy here. Done. Let's do this. Oh. Is it night time? Wait. It does it pretty dark. I think it's night time. Interesting. Okay, anyway, tank squad, move in right away and start engaging. Uh, helicopters start firing again. You leave the city and set yourself up here. Infantry, I want you to move both into here, deploy infantry, and move to the final objective. Uh, artillery, attack the unit there. That was a Sam, wasn't it? That was a Sam. Pull back. That looked like a big miss or whatever it was, so we're, we're not going to go near that. In fact, you guys probably just go directly into the city. There's no, there's no enemies here. Good job. Move up. Let's get you guys around the side a little bit. 
Okay, enemy spotted. Um, deploy now. Go there. You guys undeploy. Move up. Deploy. Can you shoot them? I think you can. Oh, enemies everywhere. Oh, I should have been paying attention. I should have been paying attention. Uh, pull back. To the forest line. There's Sam. I knew there was a Sam there. Wait, I killed the Sam with the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't need... Uh, to destroy anti-air. We are anti-air at all times. Ooh. Illuminated. I feel the illumination illuminate me. I got the advantage of units. There's no reason not to illuminate, really. Think concerned about the chem hazard. Let's go, like, this seems like the most likely, pl unlikely place to get. So go right to the corner. Zone captured. Let's see that. I think we're good. Uh, just do an artillery barge on their base over there, just in case there's enemies. Apart from that, I think we've won. Kind of sad that the phase was two minutes short, because we could have won this properly in the last one there, but. Uh, cancel your attack, my allies move in. I'm kind of sad we didn't get a total victory there at the end. Well, we will now, but Zone I mean, like, captured. we literally won, and the game cut the time down by a little bit for some reason. Ah, it's so sad. Maybe it's something to do with me capturing and losing points, but I'm not sure about that one. Don't quote me on that. So the enemy can come from multiple directions. Uh, we'll have one tank squad facing this direction, one tank squad facing the other. My allies under attack. Um, I can't really do anything to help with that, guys, to be honest. Well, I guess I could turn my units up. I try napalm. Go get me an AI back up. <laughs> we can try the napalm. It's gonna be a dodgy napalm. Nah, we'll leave it. It's I don't want to kill my own ally. He said anyway, it's fine. Uh, you guys deploy that way. You guys deploy in there. Done! Beautiful. Total victory. In a second. Hotel. That's it. It's just a hotel. This isn't even a victory condition. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, wait. I think if it will lend a map after we capture the hotel. Which is hardly a hotel anymore. We kind of just ruined it. <laughs> How did you get the car inside that house there? Interesting. I'm not seeing any response in the AI at all. Though. I think they've uh, given up. Down in a second. Zone captured. Total Zone domination captured. achieved. Beautiful. Is it? Are we done here? <gasps> it's over. We lost a single unit, unfortunately, but we killed 17. Victory, everybody. I think that is going to be it for the first operation. Results. Let's have a look. Okay. The rebel command structures are beheaded, and yet it's hard to call this victory. Chemical spill, the horrific death toll among the population of. Um, mm, what's next? Nuclear strikes? If they gave me the option, maybe. So we got a beautiful 325 points for victory points there on hard difficulty. I kind of feel like I maybe should have played on master mode, but I didn't feel like I was playing that well. I mean, I'm a very honest person. I don't think I did that well. I, I wasn't doing anything special, um, but apparently it worked pretty well in this situation. Maybe master would be a better option. Um, maybe I just got lucky though. We got better than mine. Maybe I was just lucky with what the AI deployed. and I just smashed through it. So this is what this is what I'm looking for. This is what. I <laughs> So, losses. Blue. This is actually the wrong way around, I think, because there's no way they lost 31 vehicles. I refuse to believe that. 
They lost 322 vehicles, everybody. We literally had a 1 in 10 death ratio. That is, we are just the goats. Th this regiment was absolutely amazing. Um, I, it's kind of weird how you got the dead and wounded, but the vehicles are what I personally think matters more than anything else. Wounded, though, damn. Damn. We absolutely destroyed them. That was absolutely amazing. Um, like, my, my one unit here killed 34 guys. Where's the helicopter? What do you reckon killed the most units? It might have been a tank, or no. The the gargantuan 8th Zentrum uh, helicopter regiment absolutely destroyed everything. I still think it's hilarious that they killed a um, SAM uh, missile unit and a artillery unit. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. So I got to say, this is really fun. This is actually really fun. The, um, where is it? BM I got to try and figure out a bit more about the BMPs because I'm not exactly sure the best way of moving infantry. I feel like I did pretty well with them, but they were the ones that I think took the most losses there. Well, no, sorry, I'm wrong there. <laughs> the poor artillery is the one that took the most losses, that's for sure. Okay, so I guess that was that. How do I leave this? Oh, is it just done now? I guess it's just done. So if I go back out to the main menu... I've unlocked a new one. We can now play as NATO. A small raid group is assembled to respond to the unfolding catastrophe. It was only a question of time before the chaos beyond the wall would spill here. NBC troops have... Uh, I can't remember exactly what that stands for, but I know it's something about nuclear containment. Like, nuclear... Like, troops that are equipped to deal with nuclear weapons. Not, 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 not actually stop them, but... Troops that are equipped to actually be protected against nuclear fallout and stuff. Anyway, um, embassy troops have identified the cloud that passed over the border as mostly chlorine. While it doesn't look like a dedicated chemical attack, the casualties among the civilians. What is this? What? Wait, wait. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. Bundesgrenzenskuschen. <clears throat> No. <laughs> and civilians leave us very little choice. Heavy jamming from beyond the border still prevents effective communications with the 5.1 Division HQ. Given the dire situation, the order is as follows. 14th Panzer Brigade will assume a full NBC prepare, uh, prepare posture and directly uh, move directly to the inner German border. Any and all Volksmarine... Volks... 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 As Mami, I don't know, <laughs> elements are to be engaged on site. So this is basically, I think, how the game has set up how the Cold War started. So originally the Soviets were fighting some traitors. It accidentally caused the chemical spill. The NATO forces thought that they were attacking them with um, chemical attacks. And that's how the war started. Which is pretty cool. So apparently our um, Kapfgruppen has a special mission on that. We will take you beyond the border. There, your uh, main jet will be uh, twofold. Secure the source of the chemical spill, locate the jammers, and shut them down with any means. Uh, reinforcements will be very limited. Interesting. Cool. That's pretty awesome. So you can kind of choose between things as well. Like, I'm not sure what the difference between easy, medium, hard, and master is. I presume it's better AI. The AI has like some helping hands, such as like probably more units they can deploy, they can see further, maybe have like better aiming and stuff i have no idea you can also just flat out chain stuff as well you can make the speed units faster slower you can make the range higher so a lot of people have criticisms with um cold war based games is that the actual ranges are way reduced from real life and real life missiles can shoot a bit further than they can in this game to say the least like i say it's actually quite far in this game how they far they do shoot but it's not as good as real life uh highly vanity all units still two times damage bad luck you just get Bad luck. <laughs> Random events. More time. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I don't think we're going to do any more for now. Because I don't know how this is going to be received on YouTube, to be honest. I have no idea. So I thought I'd just play the first operation. See how it is. Uh, if you want me to play more, let me know in the comments and stuff. Um, and depending on how well it's done, we may do the reaction second operation. If not, it would just be left as it is. And we move on to something else. So I personally am liking this game. So I'm going to... I've I've done this on the day of release, all these episodes. Um, I think this video will run up to the 23rd, so depending on how it does over the weekend, I may record more or I just play it by myself and do all these in my own time. Yeah, who knows? Uh, also, while we're here, because I people might be interested, let's have a look. So, skirmishes, how does this work? So I think this is just a basic 
generic randomized attack mode where you just go to random maps you can call in some ai and stuff but play with allies maybe i'm not sure if this game's got multiplayer to be honest nato warsaw begin so i wonder if you got things like ah oh, okay so you can see he's american 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 oh that's so sad no oh it's more <laughs> i take it back so german that's a west germany flag belgium interesting do you know what i really wanted to see though england i'm english everybody if you can't tell by my voice um i would have absolutely loved an english uh division i mean there's nothing special about england's division of course it's that as i play as i am english i want to play as a english division but that's just me are these guys emblem uh, uh, dice? <laughs> That's pretty ball ballsy. So I guess you can just set up your own things if you want to do your own um, operations. I guess it would work kind of the same. Actually, let's just quickly load up a game and see how it works. Let's see how it's different. No, I think it kind of like comes in over time. Refit speed, time source, prefetch units. Interesting. I'm not going to play this battle. I just want to kind of see how it works. You can choose a time of day. You can choose a map. But I don't think there would be a pre-deployment menu. Uh, maybe you just get more units as the time goes on in the battle. I'm not really sure though. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, so I think you gather points over time. Maybe you just get more units as things go on. Maybe it's based off the units you've ca uh, the territory you've captured. But I'm not really sure. Just start the bouncy weapons. Artillery task force. New task force in three minutes. Interesting. So it's quite a bit different than the base game version. We're not going to play this though. We're just going to have a look around. I kind of really like the idea of the operations as well, but I also kind of hope at some point they add like maybe like a bigger type of mode. Because really, after you've done all seven missions, yeah, you can replay them again and you can do the skirmish. But after that, you kind of done everything. So I, was, I hope eventually they might consider some kind of like, um, what's it called? Still Division 2, I think it had it, which is like a really interesting like overall campaign mode where you go and do like a like a large scale attack, like an entire front and you command different divisions in different battles. That'd be really interesting to me. Or maybe like a mode where you don't control every single unit, but you have your own regiment and you can try and like go from like a, a starting general or whatever. We'll hit a starting officer and you get more renown and you get like more units over time. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I think it's a really fun game. I think it's quite interesting how it works the units. I would love it if they add some English uh, divisions at some point because we did have an army, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> we were completely useless back then. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. So as I discussed earlier though, if you want to see me just play this game, um, it depends on how well the video is received. If not, we play something else. There's a lot of games that are like smaller games that are coming out at the moment. So we'll probably do a few of those. I also want to do Star Sector and stuff at some point as well. So we're just going to carry on doing different games and go from there. Apart from that, everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, let me just check one last thing, actually. Ooh. So if you like weapons, everybody, you can just go through all this. <gasps> oh my god. It's the United Kingdom. Oh my god. We're ruling the waves. Oh, I, got, I can't sing the song. I don't know if it's copyright or not. Damn it. Very nice. That could be one of my ancestors right there. You never know. That could be Uncle Bob. The Sultan. Interesting. Oh, the Challenger. Clearly, I'm obsessed with English stuff. I'm sorry. Um, moving on, though. And Belgian. Interesting. Anyway, everybody, as I was about to say, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.